Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Season Air Weather Platform, where we speak truth to power. <clears throat> uh, you are listening at, um, listen to an announcement made by the group of uh, people concerned about what is going on in Nigeria. Particularly, as, um, as you all know, we have a Muslim-Muslim ticket. That was what was um, elected, the Muslim-Muslim ticket. Um, on that note, on that particular point, do you all remember the um, uh, is organization of his OIC, Organization of Islamic uh, uh, Countries, I think it's called? Um, OIC, I think, something like that. They had the declaration in Abuja back in 1989. And their plan back then was to have, to ultimately have a Nigeria that will be totally um, Muslim. Yes, they will be totally Muslim. Um, on top of what is showing now, I'm going to show you a record, a picture where you will see the UK recognizing Nigeria as an Islamic nation. Um, I want you to think about that. But before we listen to that, and before we show you that, I want you to look at um, what um, <clears throat> what was said by um, by the group group here about the fact that the the professor Professor Isa Maishanu came all the way from Shokoto to Freedom Park in Ojota in Lagos State to make a declaration about that. Nigeria as the Islamic nation is supporting Palestine. Now, there's nothing wrong in supporting Palestine, don't get me wrong. But you cannot co-opt the all Nigeria is a secular nation. You see, what is going on here is giving us more justification. Those of us that want to go for a Yoruba nation and Biafra, it is clear to us that when somebody is telling us that we are all we are not a secular nation that we are a muslim nation that is unconstitutional nigeria is a secular nation and that that should not even be allowed to happen what should happen in if nigeria was a true democracy mr uh, professor uh, uh, isa mashanu from shokoto state should already have been arrested for inciting racial tensions but we know that nothing is going to happen to him and that is why we're saying, when we see this time kind of things happening, we are justified in going for Yoruba nation, Biafra nation, and so on and so forth. Now, let us listen to a clip of what they said on the broadcast. You will hear the, the whole clip in its entirety. And I will endeavor to give you a clip, a picture of the people who are the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, uh, meeting. And Nigeria had a representative. Nigeria, as we understand it, under the 1999 constitution, is not an Islamic nation. Section 10 of the constitution, you will hear them say, states that no religion shall be adopted as state religion. Now, for Professor Isa Maishanu uh, to now declare that we as a, Nigeria is a, a, a Muslim nation supporting Palestine is totally unacceptable. And like I said, this is something, this is indication. Again, when we say we are going for Yoruba nation, um, these are the reasons why we are going for Yoruba nation. Because somebody somewhere decides that we are all, um, the, uh, the whole population of 200 million people are all Muslims. Totally unacceptable. And these are the reasons why we're saying that that constitution is not working. If it's not going to be respected by all, then what point of what use is it for us to remain in a nation where the, the constituent parts of it, uh, people can decide that for all of the others that, no, they are going to be, um, you know, they, are, they will be Muslim nation. Watch the podcast. New threats to Nigeria's peace. 
fellow citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We, a group of concerned citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, wish to draw the attention of the country to a volatile declaration read out at the Freedom Park in Ojota, Lagos State, on 21st October 2023, by Professor Issa Maishanu of the Usmadanfodio University, Sokoto. The declaration was essentially a resolution of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, adopted at a meeting held in Saudi Arabia on the same day, 21st October 2023. As observed from the video, Professor Mai Shanu was reading from his cell phone, suggesting that the document had been received over the internet. While we agree that Professor Mai Shanu and the various groups he represented have a freedom of expression, we urge caution in the exercise of that freedom, especially ensuring that the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is not breached. It amounts to a violation of the constitution for any individual or groups of individuals to seek to draw Nigeria into an international conflict based on religious affiliations. That the resolution read by Professor Maishanu at Freedom Park was from the OIC should have cautioned the respected professor from calling on the federal government to take sides with one party in a conflict that has assumed an evident religious posture. It is in the open that Arab nations generally support Hamas based clearly on religious affiliations, which is why the OIC met on the issue and produced their resolution. We are compelled to state that based on Section 10 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which states that and I quote, the government of the federation or of a state shall not adopt any religion as state religion. The resolution of the OIC is not binding on Nigeria, on its people or on its government. Nigeria is not a theocratic state and no attempt should be made to create that impression. According to our laws, religion is personal. Section 38, paragraph 1 of the 1999 Constitution as amended guarantees the freedom of religious convictions for its citizens. We are surprised that the group represented by the professor who traveled all the way from Sokoto to Lagos for the purpose of the declaration expresses horror at the genocide taking place in faraway Palestine, yet has been curiously silent all these years at the greater horror of a genocide being perpetrated by insurgents against Nigerians in states such as Bono, Adamawa, Benue, Taraba, Plateau, and Kaduna against the Hausa people and other minorities. Thousands upon thousands of those people have been murdered by bandits, yet there has not been one protest from Professor Maishanu's group. Charity, they say, begins at home. How come the charity of this group is starting in Palestine? Are Palestinian lives more precious than Nigerian lives? We wish to alert southern Nigeria, particularly the Yoruba people of the southwest, to beware of religious irredentists sneaking into the region to fam